what will happen at the next Fed meeting. We just had our May meeting. The Fed came out, hiked 25 basis points, and rates dropped. And, and that might not make a lot of sense to everybody out there, because if you're not used to trading, <clears throat> excuse me, in the derivative space especially, um, <clears throat> you might think the Fed hiked rates, and so the interest rate market obviously went up. Um, keep in mind that the Fed, uh, they control the Fed funds rate, but the uh, interest rate products that people primarily trade uh, in treasuries, they move around constantly trying to essentially predict where interest rates will be in the future. And so here, for instance, we have the probability of where the Fed might move interest rates in, <clears throat> excuse me, their June meeting. And um, you can see that uh, now that we're at five to five and a quarter percent, there's an 88 percent chance that we're at that level at the June meeting. And actually, the market pricing in a 12 percent chance that the Fed actually cuts at their June meeting. And they just hiked here in May. And these projections for interest rates are not only falling for the June meeting, the next meeting, but let's look at the next meetings beyond that, by the December end of year Fed meeting, uh, projections in the last day since the Fed rate hike, mostly because of this regional bank crisis that's getting, uh, it seems, more and more out of hand, uh, projections have fallen a full 25 basis points across the board, pretty much, for any time span that you're looking at. And uh, zeroing in on the end of year here, you can see that the projection now is 4%. So a full 100 basis points or 1% lower than where we currently are, the market is projecting that the Fed gets to by the end of the year. They just hiked up to 5%, market projecting them getting down to 4%. And even a little bit of an outside chance of being sub 4% by the end of the year. We go out a year in advance to next May, and the market's saying pretty much no chance that interest rates will be higher than 4%. And uh, the bulk of these probabilities saying around 3% and even an outside chance of sub 3% interest rates just a year from now. And so it'll be really interesting to see one, how this actually plays out. Uh, the Fed's next meeting, uh, they're expected to hold. If the crisis continues to get worse for banks though, you could see those odds shift uh, even uh, more in the direction of a cut at the next meeting. And these odds for the end of the year and a year from now shift closer and closer to cutting down to 2% or 1% or even zero where we were during the pandemic. Um, so not only will it be interesting to watch that, but it'll be interesting to see how this plays out for stocks because lower interest rate projections have been good for tech stocks in the short term. But at some point here, does the regional bank crisis that is bringing interest rate projections lower uh, bleed over to that technology space and cause the entire stock market to move lower, even though interest rates are, uh, are dropping out of the sky here. We'll continue to monitor that. But yeah, within 24 hours of the Fed's May meeting where they hike by 25 basis points, projections across the board for interest rates falling.